Right. Let's see. Nice sturdy gate. I do love this part of the walk I'm about to go on, by the way. Oh, and I love the smell of creosote as well. But uh, this walk a bit, not, I like all this, but there's a bit further up the drove, I call it. I just love droves. There's something romantic about them. Something ancient. It's because I think we all know that people have walked along them, driving their sheep and cattle to market or visiting family and friends in the neighbouring villages before proper roads came along. I'll tell you one of the worst parts of the walk in a strange little way is the end. When I, after going on this bus journey, which takes you all in out these estates and they don't ever pick anybody up. But you have to weave in all that. That ain't so bad on the way back, but they dropped me at the station and I I've got that walk home. I got that 20 minute walk. See, when I was thinking about this walk today, I thought, ah, I can do that in four or five hours easy. Oh no, I forget. I forget how far it is. I forget how steep the hills are I've got to climb. And then you forget how hot it's going to be. And of course my rucksack is quite heavy. I've had to carry lots and lots of water. And I've still got lots left. And I'm just enjoying walking slow. I don't think I could walk fast if you made me now. This is the getting old bit. It's true. I think you'd have to follow me on one of my videos, say five years ago even, or definitely 10 years ago, to compare the energy levels I had. Um, God, I can smell the crisp. Now that's to keep cows out, isn't it? Electric fencing. Can you see cows? Not yet. Maybe someone's bought that place. Yeah, big old farmhouse, isn't it? What happens when they do them up there? They often destroy, in a way, some of the oldie worldy part where it looks oldie worldy. Same thing, I think. I don't know what this is going to be like, folks, as I'm a f I'm just sort of holding on to it. Supporting the um, battery charger. Battery charger's doing all right at the moment. Then the next field I go in after this, this bit, it's usually a beautiful tree, oak trees in there. And sometimes with the certain flowers out, it looks absolutely amazing. But it could be that someone else has bought that place now and is digging up everything. <sighs> Making it clinical. Lots of concrete. Do you know what I mean? See? 
putting all the pipes and the cables in. The honeysuckle's still around the fence in though. Still looks like a little pixie house though, doesn't it? When we get to this gate, it's time for water again. It's quite a long walk because I've got to get up to St. James's. Then after that, I've got to walk all the way to Winscombe Village because if I was on time for a bus, I could just make it to the corner. I uh, wouldn't have to go all the way into the village. Oh, looks like they're going to have some sort of road here, doesn't it? It's very wide. It's time to have a polite notice. That's what I say. Please don't feed the horses. Right, we just get through here. In fact, I'm just going to stop and take a picture. I'm going to wait till I get to the gate and that leads me to the drove. Then I'm going to have a drink. Fortunately, it's shady again. This lovely tree though. Yeah, that walk through uh, Winscombe from the church, it can seem to take forever when you've had a day out. It seems to go on and on and on. It is really quite a a feat. <sighs> so I'm going to make sure I'm quite rested, seeing as there's no panic at the moment. We think there's no panic for time. Uh, <sighs> you can feel that there will be thunder eventually over the weekend. It's getting, it's that sort of hotness that you get. Every little hill now, every little hill, you feel it. The reason I'm so weary today is that I've had, in this week, I've had three or four hikes. Three of them have been big. Eight, six, eight hour hikes. And they're not walking flat and it's been hot. But the reason I'm doing it, what's the reason you're doing it, Shia? <sighs> Is because we are expecting some horrible weather. <sighs> I'll be the gate up here in a minute to my lovely drove which is always welcoming and shady. But I need a drink, I need to blow my nose. That's for horses, that's just people with money, have got money to have horses. This is a nice little walk up here though. You see, the difference between me now and, say, five, 
10 years ago was I would have speeded it up. You know, I can't now. I just can't do it. But you've also got to remember, one, two, six. There was a five o'clock bus. That was my favorite time for going home. Not the last one, five o'clock, not too busy. And you could rest up on the way back on the bus. And you, you can hardly walk when you get off. It takes you a few minutes. Yeah, you see, yesterday, or no, whenever, I, two days ago, and it seems like yesterday when I was out, the driver was four minutes early. I've been, believe it or not, I've been through around that wood before now, but there definitely are cows up there. And quite often you have the, is it the Herd, Herdwick sheep? From Cumbria here, he did have them for a while. This is where I'm going to stop and get my breath back, have a drink of water, say hello to these gorgeous big oaks. The weather's changing and we're going to need to start heading down very soon into the village. Let's just turn off a minute. Let me just let me just have a chat. So this is Sheila out in the Somerset countryside. I won't be surprised if it don't rain in a minute. But I've got a really good rain cover over this rucksack. So I'm gonna have a drink of water now. I'm not gonna look at the time until I get to the church. I've decided I'm not looking at it now. I'm just going to have a nice glass of water. Because I reckon it's probably about going on for half three. If I keep looking at the clock, that'll make me rush and we don't need to. Okay, we don't need to rush. Actually, I will look at it. So I'm trying to pace myself. Well, it'll take an hour, it'll be four o'clock. Oh God, only four o'clock when I get back. Well, again, what we can do, we can go in the church at St. James's for half an hour. That'll be a good idea. We haven't done that church for a while, not on the inside. Yeah, just take your time. It's very sunny over that way. We're on the hills and this is the lovely little drove that I talk about. And I, before now, I've walked up through these fields and all sorts. 
well, I've been exploring over the years. I just like walking through here. I find it, I don't know, calming. It's full of history. Is that lamb again? It's weird that this sheep keeps turning up. <sighs> on a, a sheep on its own, normally a lamb. That's the, this will be the third. It can't be the same sheep. I wouldn't have thought so. But this is that's another one, see? There it goes. Hello. Are you going to run away? Eh? I've seen two others like you today leaving their mamas. But you've got, you look like you'll be a bit closer to your mama up there. You can run off. I'm not going to hurt you though. Oh, you've got a bad leg. Eh? It's all right. Don't try and run. It's lovely and cool in here, isn't it? Lovely and cool. Oh, there's your mama. There's your mama. Hello, mama. I don't know if you are Herdwicks. They probably would have sculpted you. That huge fur you lot have. Eh? That can be sold to make jumpers. Yeah. You all right? You both having a rest? Is it going to thunder and lightning in a minute? Hope not. Oh, I'll be scared. I know it's coming. I feel better already. Just coming in here just calms you right down. Do you know what I mean? It's like a, a peace. This history here, I can feel the spirits of, all, of the past here. And the trees know it. There's just something very restful about walking here. I often sometimes, if you need to go off to sleep, find yourself in a place like this. Massive herd of cows down there, absolutely massive. They do sometimes have them in huge herds. It's just as long as you don't end up in a field with them, you're all right. I shouldn't, I shouldn't now. No, I shouldn't. Uh, well, I know I won't. There isn't any sign of them in here. No. Sun's coming out again. Yeah, now what I'm going to do, I don't want to be around when that bus passes through the village, that four o'clock one. I don't want to see it. So, I won't even go down that way. I'll hover around St. James's Church. Because obviously if I get down there by four o'clock, I can get the bus. It's not supposed to be due to eight minutes past. But I don't really want that in my mind. I've decided on the six. I've already made a plan. Right, over and out a minute. Let me take